That's not what that sounded like at all. I don't know why that happened to me. What in the fuck is going on? We haven't solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder. And you're saying the murderer is Scissor Man? But it's true. I saw him clearly. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go on home now, Teach. Hmm. Oh, but don't go anywhere too far for a while. Because I'll probably have to call you in again. Soon. <laughs> I know, Gots. Where do I click? On us? Okay. Helen. It's all right, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clues about Scissor Man. If we don't probably, if we don't do something ourselves, he'll probably kill us. The dude doesn't believe them because it's essentially a, um, uh, there's no, oh, sorry, no need for, it just kept going. No need for sarcasm, Teach. I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissor Man? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Hey, G, how's it going? So, well, shall we go? Okay. I mean, imagine if, like, you were a police officer and someone came up to you after some murders and said it was the Easter Bunny. Like, that's why he doesn't believe. Okay, I must find a clue about Scissor Man. All right, we're going to go back to the university research building. The investigation of the crime scene seems to be over. Yeah, this is very nostalgic for me, too. I enjoyed it a lot yesterday, surprisingly. Um, Helen, are you all right? Yeah, but Rose is fucking dead, by the way. Uh, more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the... Clock tower murders? Right. I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here? I know there's so much suspense in this game. And no, Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn, I wanted to look at the statue because I was... Everybody, what was she? Somebody tell me. I wanted to look at the statue because I was... Bored, curious, asleep at the time, <laughs> smelly. Oh, this is a really good Mad Libs. Dancing the funky chicken. Wow, big gay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see which one it is. Hoping it would give me a clue about Scissor Man. Oh, sorry, everyone. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library... Or to a man named Rick. Yeah, she's... No, she's not Nancy Drew. <laughs> uh, if we took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? I don't know. All right, I'll go over to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Wait, if you give the statue to... If you give the statue to Rick here... Do they not know where Rick is and then you don't have the statue? By the way, this game can really, really push you into different endings, by the way. Um, I know now... So with Jennifer's story, you have to pick up the oil can at the beginning of the first scenario or you can't get the good ending. I picked up a flashlight in the first scenario on this one. I'm going to assume that that's going to get me the good ending in this one. Um, just I'll hopefully be lucky. All right, so we have to go to the the uh, library, the Metropolitan Library. Do I want the answer? No, not yet. I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. This is PS1. Yes, that's correct. I'm assuming it is, though, like the, the flashlight. So we'll see. There is some voice acting in this game, by the way. We just haven't heard Neil in a hot minute. 
Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Uh, housing? The house is surrounded by reporters. Okay. I shouldn't go anywhere near there now. Maybe I should go back to the university. Oh, I probably need to talk to Edward. And also, no, Rick is not a pickle. He's just a man named Rick. I hope you find the statue. Bye, buddy. I hope you find your statue. No reason to go to the newspaper office. Police Street. I know, I know it's police station, but... Oh, yes, I will ask Scott about Rick. Oh, this is how I find out about Rick, right? Oh, you weren't asking me if I wanted the answer to the flashlight thing. You were asking me if I wanted the answer to Rick. I think this is how you figure out about Rick. Got any new info, Teach? Do you know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be the butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family? Of the Clock Tower case? Yes, that Barrows family. That would mean he, well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. Yeah, that's what I thought. But anyway, what about him? Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue, what for? That statue just might be the key to the secret of Scissor Man. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. <laughs> I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it too. Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. Oh, Gotts is going to get it. You will? All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue. But, oh, Rick doesn't have the statue, though. Right? Nothing to it. Uh-oh. Yes, but... Ascots? No, Rick isn't... It's not with Rick. I left it at the library. Thank you for offering, but Mr. Sullivan at the library may have it. If he doesn't, I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Is the dude in Clock Tower 2 Ghost Head, is he Getz? I don't remember what his name is, but he's the I'm going to kill you guy. Bates, thank you. Why did it say Edward? Am I playing as Edward? No way. Okay, that's what I thought. Why did it say Edward? Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan, he is now in the head librarian's office. I see, thank you. Can I? I can't go in there. It's been a hot minute since we saved this game. We're already in scenario two. It's going real fast tonight. Because I didn't have... Oh, nope. Nope. Uh, nope. I didn't have a bunch of issues with technology at the beginning of the stream. So we just got to start the game. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Huh. Okay, great. Are you, am I enjoying this? Okay, so, uh, hello, welcome, Wolf Wolvesen. Um, I've played this game a couple of times about 10 years ago. This is my, we're doing the second scenario. We did um, Jennifer's yesterday. I remember disliking this game a lot more than I liked it this time. Uh, the reading room, it cannot be entered without a key. I definitely like it more this time um, than I did last time, for sure. I'm sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Let's go in. Hello. Hello, Helen. It has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? Didn't I just... 
Oh, I asked for him, but I didn't talk to him. I've heard about what happened to you. It's terrible. Yes. <laughs> That's it? Just yes? Okay. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research. I will give you a key to the reading room so you can use the reference materials as you please. Yeah, CT2 is much worse, for sure. Or the reading room is right next door. Oh, and the statue. Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, I don't trust any of that, but okie dokie. Anything else to say to you? Nope. Can't go through this door? Nope. Can I click on anything else? Okay. Let's leave. Ghost said is why following the trend of Resident Evil is popular is not the right room. That's fair enough. Although it was really funny to play Resident Evil um, Revelations 2 and see how Resident Evil Re Revelations 2 really ripped off Last of Us in a way. Um, and then think about how Resident Evil 2 is usually the innovator versus, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it was interesting. All right now I can enter the reading room. Wait, wait, you're making me remember something. Does it, does Resident, or does Clock Tower 2 Ghost Head have like a gun? Do you have a gun at some point? The reading room. There are many valuable works here only available to university personnel. There is a gun. Yes. All right. I just hope there's something here that will explain the scissor man. Yeah. I like vaguely remember it. It doesn't seem to be in this area. Books are relating to England are up here. Okay. Somebody tell me about some English books. What books are they? Is it Harry Potter? How many haunted chairs have there been today? Zero so far. There, this is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time, but this is hardly a good time. I can see this already. What's this? Can't do anything with it yet? This is the scary music that plays in this game. I already looked there. Let's look here. Charles Dickens, Chronicles of Narnia, that's fair. Gravity's Rainbow is a read, but not now, yep. Nor Lords of Northern England, this is it. Excuse me, but the library will be closing. Shortly. <laughs> At least she doesn't hate reading? I know, why does Jennifer hate reading so much? I don't get it. I found a clue about Scissor Man. I still have to pick up the statue. You guys hear the Scissor Man music? It's about to start. Also, speaking of uh, horror streamers and gamers, I stumbled upon Sam the Sly's stream today. If someone could give him a shout out, he was playing Resident Evil 1. Uh, very, very cool stream. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. He just, he's just making affiliate now, too, which is really exciting for him. All right, it seems that the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I will go have a look. Well, I will go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. Okay. The clock hasn't been working for ages. I wonder if someone has been messing with it. Oh, no. Mr. Sullivan? Oh, no. Why did it? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, sh F word. F word. Uh, I, that must have happened last time and I don't remember that at all, by the way. Clock tower hands, man. Wait, can I just go in his office? Like, just let me go in here. This is where the statue is, so like, let's just go for it, I guess. It happened last time I was blown away last time too. Dude, are you not surprised? I'm not surprised that I was blown away by that. Can I go through this door or am I just gonna get murdered by him here? Oh, nice, I'm gonna, wait. Am I gonna hit him with a lamp? Yeah, clock tower man, I'm a overhead projector woman. So F word you, F word finance, no F word. Uh, Edward's voice is heard from upstairs. That's Edward's voice. 
You can't still be here. France. Yeah, need, need a light. <laughs> need a light. That's really good. That's Edward's voice, and it's coming from inside that room. Oh, yeah, this is in... It's Oslo, so it's probably Fjord. You're right. The F is for fabulous. Edward. Edward. <gasps> Just falling down. Oh. I was not prepared for that. What thing, one thing I don't understand is... All the women in the game kind of talk like this. Hello, my name is Helen. Like, why? I don't understand, like, the, the director of the game was like, Alright, can you talk but, like, use... 26% of your voice and also breathe while you're doing it at the same time. Is that possible? Do you have the capabilities of doing that? Oh, that person's dead. Uh, can I leave? I can't click on anything in here, by the way. I'm boned. You don't know if you liked that? Oh, like my weird voice? <laughs> Edward? Hello, Edward. Is Edward here? I- I- s I'm just like running, by the way. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. Oh, is this a hiding place? I like remember a weird hiding place like this from the first game, but I don't remember this one. Oh no, it is pretending to be a stool. <laughs> this is totally- I did this a shit ton the first time. <laughs> Oh. You're a stool. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're a stool. Okay. If you speak normally, you'll scare the men away. Yes, 100% what this game is. That's what the, the, the director had to have said that, because I otherwise do not know what happened. All right. So that was all that was in here, I guess. Let's go back in here. All right, so we still need to find the statue. It's got to be in the office. Redeemed compliment, Mega G Wolf. First off, Mega G Wolf is uh has been watching me, and I've been watching his stream since before I streamed this a long time ago. She's the library clerk I just saw. She's effing dead. Um, really, I just can I pretend to be a stool again? I'm trying to be nice to my friend Mega G Wolf right now. Is it going to work again? I just did this. Um, anyway, G... Uh, if, <laughs> hey, can someone shout out Mega G Wolf? Uh, very good streamer. Very funny, funny, funny guy. Always really fun to play video games with and hang out with. He's really good at pretending to be a stool. He can also talk like this. But it has a he has a British accent when he's doing it. So... Definitely doesn't play horror games as much as I do, though, I will say. It'd be cool if occasionally he would catch you while you were doing this, but I don't think he does. Okay. Can we stop playing Stool Simulator 2020? That'd be great. Ooh, you've been playing. So people keep telling me to get Phasmophobia. Pallison, Pallison, Fal was playing it. Or is going to play it. And he was like, you should get it too so you can play it. And I was everyone wants me to play it. I just don't... I feel like it's scary. I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. Um, you think he catches on? That would be great if he does. I don't really remember. There are red stains on these books. Blood? I don't have time to read these books. Stool Simulator... Sounds like a shitty game. Nice. Good. That's good. There are many encyclopedias. It really stresses you out. I'm just so surprised. It just doesn't seem like a scary game to me. Okay. I guess I'm going to go back in here again. 
The only always work saves are the ones that require to put yourself in danger. That's fair. You definitely have to put yourself in danger for the throwing him out the edge. There are many books about archaeology on the self. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan. I need the key. A personal computer. The image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. Okay. I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there is anything else. Uh, can I really look inside anyway? Oh. A key is inside the drawer. You now have the collection room key. Okay. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. Is it this way? Is this a key that shows? No. Oh, I still have pliers, too. Now I can enter the collection room. Can I save? Great. Happy Halloween. Oh, yeah. Happy Halloween from the UK. It's already, it's already Halloween. Happy Halloween from Australia and Japan, too, I think. Already, already in the spooky zone. I already am always spooky. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the... Artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places, of which he is very proud. It sounds like water. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times. It's so dark that I was looking at my monitor wondering when the game was going to appear, and I have to turn to my other monitor now to look at it. This time it's pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Um, I can see it on my other monitor. Thank goodness the power is on here. Very cool. That's the statue though, right there, isn't it? Oh God, it's Scissor Man. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, Please leave, there we go. Where can I go hide? I don't really know where to go hide. There's no bathroom. Is there anywhere back here? Oh, evidently no. Um, up the stairs, I guess? Yeah, there's nothing back there, okay. OGCT oh, with Jennifer yoinking a plank away from Scissor Scissorman. Oh yeah, I love that one. I don't think there's anything I can do in here except for then run away. Okay, better be on my game to push the button a whole shit ton. I just wanted some pancakes. The all of the evade points in Clock Tower 3 are so good. Okay, where are we going? I don't even know where I can hide. That's his office. Hold on, let's go this way, I guess. Where else can you hide except for go to be a stool? Like, I truly don't know anywhere else to hide. Oh, he's in front of me now. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, this, this uh, sucks ass. What's happening? There's like nowhere to hide in here. Oh wait, can I go in here now? No? Okay. There's nothing I can do in here, game. Okay, uh, this is bad. Hopefully I can go hide and be a stool. I have to walk though. I mean, if he catches me again, I'm super dead. So if I can't go be a stool, we're gonna have problems. Okay, let me drink my tea while I try and be a stool. 
I don't really honestly think there's any other hide or evade points in this part. Uh, ma'am? Okay. I was like, why are you not ducking? What other games do you all like that are like Clock Tower? I finally played Ao Oni this year and The Witch's House. Ao Oni is the only one that's kind of like like this, though I would say. This has to be an infinite point because there's no other way for you to survive in this. Like, how else could you survive in this spot? There's no like. There's no good place to hide in this part. You don't know of too many run and hide kind of games? Yeah, like I was saying, there was, um... Oh, don't run, just walk, walk, ma'am. While you're running now. This music sounds like the silent, or not the Resident Evil safer music. Okay, we have to go back into here. Because we have to go back and pick up the statue. This is not the room the statue is in. Dead by Daylight? Yeah, I guess that's fair. That is definitely a game where there's a lot of hiding and running from the enemy. No, this never happened when I worked at a library, by the way. Okay, um, you might not want to watch me play Dreaming Mary. I did not like it, like, at all, by the way. Did not like it. Okay. Can I look in here now? I'm just gonna grab the statue and run away. Like... Mr. Sullivan probably kept it here. The statue is together with the other artifacts. Thank goodness, there it is. You now have the statue. Since I have what I came for, now all I have to do is... find a way out. Can we just use the front door? Yeah, I would say the only game that I've played a lot of RPG Maker games lately, like in the last like six months, and the only one that I found that I really thought was like this is um, uh, is Aoni. All the rest of the games that were like this are not quite like this. All of them have like at least some kind of way to attack or something like that. Aoni is truly like run away. That's it. You oh, that's all you got. So I love Illbleed. I've never played Illbleed. Super great friend uh, who was another something awful LP here back in the day. Um, I think he still streams. Uh, he his LP of of Illbleed like what is probably the greatest let's play of all time. There I would say like oh I uh oh I've been locked in. Well that's not good. Uh anybody got a key? Thought that was a little too easy. Yeah, I get yeah, my health is good now. Echo Knight? See, I've never heard of Echo Knight before. Crooked Man, we played Crooked Man too. I mean, also, we also played Crooked Man. You have a key here? A computer for managing the library. I hope it's networked to the outside. Okay, why do you hope it's networked to the outside? Why? Yeah, I did play Crooked Man. I thought Crooked Man was okay. The plot at the the end of the plot was really weird. I hope it's networked to the outside. Okay. Um We never went in this room. Uh oh. That's uh quite a bit of spooky. Everything seems normal here. Am I going to get a shitty fax again, by the way? A rather primitive copier. They are obviously having budgetary problems here. To just like at the university? University. Okay. We got to look at this chair. 
The fact says free sub with Amazon Prime. Does it? Did you all know? Edward, I thought you'd still be here. Oh, it's Edward. Did you all know that with your Amazon Prime subscription, you get a free sub to someone on Twitch? Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Surprise. If you don't use your Twitch Prime sub, you lose it. Boy, and don't worry, we'll make it. You could just smash that button right now. And tell Scissor Man to leave. All right, what am I doing now, though? I'm looking for the key, I guess, yeah? Edward should be hiding under the table, even if only him? He must escape from here. Okay. I feel like there was something... I feel like this, this was something. Okay, it, was, it wouldn't let me do anything with this before. Event. Oh, super sus. It's covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. Uh, I probably can't use my pliers for this. That would be too silly. Event. I guess I can't. Okay. All right. If I could just get the screen off. Yeah, okay. I'm going to look at everything in this room again, just because we're in here. There are many reference materials. Okay, that's the same one. Many reference materials. Ladder. Well, she just is very relaxed right now, so she's okay. A step ladder. This area is full of foreign books. I don't like reading. My name's Jennifer. Anything on the floor? Any loose floorboards? Okay. I guess we'll leave this room. Echo Night Beyond, which is a PS2 game. Got you. Yeah, I mean, Helen's mad because they don't have the budget she wants. I would be mad too if I were her. I was going to say, I wonder if the key is up with his body, but his body was no longer up there for some reason. So let's look again the desk again, I guess. Okay, we read this already. Everything is normal here. Great. Many books of archaeology. I guess I'll look at this door and go back in here for a second. So Funky Groom Reaper said earlier this was his like most intense scare was this part. Like that's the one that you felt was the most suspenseful. Interesting. Many ancient swords, big, strangely shaped pots, and other valuable artifacts. I swear if he's back here again, I'll be mad. Oh, were all those giant stone statues carried in here? No need to turn off that light. Okay. I guess that's all. Oh, wait. I can't click on anything when that's happening. Okay, let's click on this side. Many of Mr. Sullivan's artifacts looking at them would turn an art dealer green with envy. Okay. It seems like there's nothing else in this room. Ooh, sorry. Helen. Helen uh, likes to read because reading is what? Fundamental. All right, I guess we'll just go back upstairs for a second. Maybe his body is up here. Chat, I know many of us are not going anywhere for Halloween this year. Could you please let me know if you're not going anywhere or if you're going somewhere, what costume are you wearing? Are you going to get dressed up? Something is written on it. You discovered hint number seven. Great. I have most of the hints now. There's nothing else up here. His body's not up here. I thought his body might be up here and his, the key might be with his body. It's definitely not. Definitely nothing else up here. You made a Nook Ink shirt and you're wearing it? Yes, yes. Very cute. It's covered with... Oh, I don't have an oil can. Okay, so this room, not much. We got hint number seven. 
Dress up at work as a cowboy. Very nice. No costume, but might get Game of Among Us with friends. Ooh. You could dress up as the imposter. By just by being sus. Okay, so that this room is the room that I just explored everything in. Let's check this room again. I know this is where he's playing. Wear my skeleton onesie while you guys play D&D. That's awesome. LARP nerd, so you'll be in garb. Fantastic. Max has her own Ren Fair outfit. It's very cute. She is at her dad's, but she is dressed up like a witch. She stole all of my witch outfit from two years, three years ago, I think. Um, I never dress up as female characters. Um, I last year I was uh, last year I dressed up as Alan Grant from um, Jurassic Park. I don't have time to read these books. And then two years ago I dressed up as Batman. Um, three years ago, I was Kylo Ren. There are many encyclopedias. Great. Does that mean Max has become huge or am I that small? Oh, she's wearing... The out, the part of my outfit she's wearing is the hat and the um, cape. Unfortunately, she, she has her own dress and stuff like that. She can't fit in any of my other stuff. A magazine. The smile of the model on the cover looks fake. Okay. You dress up as Owen Grady and Mr. Freeze and Bats here? That's awesome. Oh good, the police are here. A police car siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Look, I don't know who's been to my stream before. We've already discussed. No more calling the police. Not in 2020. The door cannot be opened from the front. Many policemen are swarming around outside looking for a way in. There are so many people just on the other side of the door. I've been locked in. Okay. Uh... Gonna go back in here, I guess. Woo, woo, wee, woo, wow, woo, wow, woo. The wambulance has been called. Where else could a key be? Files line the shelves. There's nothing that seems useful. I wonder if there's something useful here. A screwdriver's in one of the drawers. You now have the screwdriver. Great. Hope it's with Belvedere vodka. I'd love that. To be fair, I don't really drink that much, but... I just had to make that reference. Okay. Ooh, let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me? Can I leave? Okay. <laughs> wee oo, wee oo. Scissor man? Come on, scissor man. Please stay away while I get out of here. Unless he's in this hallway, I should be fine, I think. Okay. You better not come out of this place right here. <laughs> Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. Bye. I can't fit through? Well, whatever.
Is he gonna be in this room? I feel like I should get that you could do it, Sherry you can do it, Sherry Burke, and I feel like I should get that reference, but I'm I'm not in control of this game right now. Don't like that. Oh, okay, we're fine. Hey Teach, what's going on? Teach, hang in there. <laughs> She can't fit through because her brain is so thick from all the reading. Oh, there we go. Great. Okay. Uh, before we start chapter three, I'm going to wait for one second. Um, <laughs> how many people does Scissor Man want to kill? All right, Teach, that's enough questioning. You can go on home now. Oh, okay. Hold on. Before we continue, like I said, before we continue on for just a second, I'm going to be right back in just a moment, everybody.